All right, everybody, we're going to go over page two. We're finding slope, only this time you do not have a graph. So there's a lot of ways you can do it. Actually, uh, two good ways. Uh, and you were taught that slope, we use the letter M to represent slope. And we're going to use this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which basically means find the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. And remember, that could be represented with delta y over delta x. It's the same exact thing. So a little complicated, but watch how easy it is. We're going to say that this is point 1. We're going to say that this is point 2. So we're going to call this x1, y1, and we're going to call this x2, y2. So let's make our parentheses. Get ready to fill in these parentheses with our values, right? So y2 is 3, and y1 is negative 5. All right, x2 is negative 2, and x1 is 2. So now we just have to solve this problem. Let's simplify it. Uh, if it'll let me move. Okay, there we go. Uh, the opposite of a negative is a positive. 3 plus 5 is 8, and negative 2 and negative 2. Combine those negatives to get negative 4, and when you simplify that, you get negative 2. And it's perfectly fine to have a whole number for slope because we realize that negative 2 is the same thing as negative 2 over 1, right? They are the same thing. All right, we're going to do this method for one more problem over here. Um, I'm going to do present box minus present box because we like to call them present boxes sometimes because we like to fill present boxes with presents. It makes it more fun. All right, this time, let's call this point 1. Let's call this point 2. x1, y1 x2, y2. It doesn't matter, right, which points you use as long as you label them correctly. All right, y2 is negative 4. y1 is negative 5. Uh, x2 is negative 5. x1 is 5. So here we go. Let's solve. The opposite of a negative is a positive. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. And combine the negatives down here. A negative 5 and negative 5 make negative 10. So you get negative 1 tenth, and it doesn't matter where you put the negative. On the 1, the 10, or the side, it's all the same thing. All right, so you could use that method. I prefer the xy chart, okay? I just put the points in, and I'm going to basically do the same thing. What's the difference in my y's? All right, these increase by 10, and the x's, they go down by 4. So my Y's, remember, Y's rhymes with rise. Your rise over your run. That's going to simplify to negative 5 halves, and that is your slope. All right, X, Y chart, here we go. Let's keep it rolling. I'm going to do the difference in my Y's. My rise is 3, and from negative 3 to 2, that's a rise of 5, or sorry, a run of 5. So that slope is a positive three-fifths. All right, let's go on to the next problems. X, Y chart. This is my preferred way to do it. I could always graph them and do my rise over my run, right? But this is another easy way. So zero to three, that's an increase of three. Zero to three, that's an increase of three. So my rise over my run is, I lost my cursor, where is it? Okay, uh, it's three over three, which is? One. All right, next way, here we go. X, Y, negative five, negative three, five, three. My rise, I'm increasing by six. My run, I'm increasing by 10. Six tenths simplifies to three fifths. Three fifths is my slope. All right, next one, X, Y, negative two, negative five, and zero to five. My rise, I'm increasing by 10. My run, I'm increasing by 2. So 10 over 2 simplifies to 5, or 5 over 1. Okay, x, y down here. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 0. I'm increasing by 3, and I'm increasing by 3. So 3 over 3, we know that simplifies to 1 over 1, remember? But you can just write 1 for the slope. All right, fact of the day, a slope of 1 is exactly 45 degrees. All right. All right, let's go on to the final problems. I had to do that for some reason. All right, here we go. Negative 5, negative 2, and 5, 2. My rise, I'm going up by 4. 
my run. I'm going up by 10. Four tenths simplifies to two fifths. That's a two fifth slope, everybody. And it's the final problem. I had to do it again. All right. And while I was singing, that doesn't even look like a Y. It looks like a G or something. This is a Y. All right. Here we go. We're going from negative five to five. That's an increase of 10. A negative four to a negative three. That's an increase of one. My slope is 10 over one. And remember, that can just be written as 10. Okay. So that's how you find slope, guys, with two points. Stay tuned. For